Tired of constantly having to defend your base from zombie invasions, among other things, or even animals coming through to trample your crops? Well, don't fear, because the Scarecrow's Mod by Blackscore is here for you. Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Scarecrow's, a uh, spooky jam mod made for you guys. So, as I did mention, you know, there may be a large zombie invasion coming or something of that nature. Well, this mod is to make things a little bit simpler. Uh, first, let me shut off one of the, the uh, scarecrows I currently have going on. But I have a few scarecrows to show you. And they have an effect, let alone a look about them. So, to start off with, there's three tiers. There's, and they're not the kind that you cry. Poor guy. So, uh, but we are talking about three levels of which, and first is clay, which of course is very OP, but, um, we, we've got, they're, they're only going to be two blocks tall. They cover a 10 block radius or, or, well, something along those lines. If you look here, pretty much this, this distance from, from your, uh, your friendly neighborhood scarecrow, you know, there's like a, a quarter of a circle that he kind of covers from that base and, uh, you just need some sticks and a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, so basically, here's uh, here you go. We've got one of this, a couple of those, and either a block of clay or a chiseled stone brick. It can't just be a regular one. And there's a difference between the two. Uh, for example, if I put a zombie here, he will get scared away. Most of the, uh, the aggressive mobs will get shooed away. Now, keep in mind, though, skeletons... Uh, they can still come to the edge of this and, and shoot you just fine. So that is something to worry about. But if I were to take something like a cow, for example, let's put one down. Nothing happens. It just sits here. And uh, if you have it in your field, it's not much of a scarecrow if it's not scaring away things that might eat your crops, like a cow. So that's why there's two different versions in each tier. The clay tier is going to be your the one that takes care of mobs. Now, if you do the stone version... It will also take care of passive mobs. So what you do is you place down the block that you want. And this being tier one, th there's no source block. It's just going to be this here. Uh, so then you just right click with a couple of sticks. And then you put a, uh, a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin on top. I believe it's a jack-o'-lantern is really what you want to do. And then it'll do this. And then your cow problems will be gone. Um, because this will also scare away passive mobs as well as regular mobs. So here we go. We'll toss this in. Boo. Get out of here move yourself uh anyway um so <laughs> that's that's the idea really we've got this being tier one being really easy and yes you could spam these around your base if you wanted to ha ah, trying to get into the crops i don't think so they always end up coming in when i'm doing bit by bits i you know how many cows i've slaughtered during these tutorials anyway um moving over here we've got tier number two which is uh kind of moving things up you you basically need nether materials if you look here we've got nether rack or in this case pillar quartz blocks and the nether rack is going to be uh level one of tier two which is going to scare away mobs as you can see here nether rack equals mobs quartz equals passive and it's not any quartz it has to be pillar quartz blocks uh, and as before you need to just put sticks on the sides uh you can put them on just about any block in this version uh, and then uh you need to put all these on top of another brick fence in both situations and then lastly remember these are like golems so you have to put the the pumpkin on the on their last put that on there and there you go you are now scaring away your livestock as well as mobs and if you just want mobs to be scared away you just go with this version here and then you've got your last version, uh, which actually, let me grab a couple sticks and the materials for this. I, th I think that should do it. These ones cover a very large area. So to start with, um, if you want to, oh, I, I forgot to mention these guys, if you want to break them because they're an entity, see, I'm, I'm looking at this and it says grass block in the top left. So it's not really going to allow me to do anything. Just break the block that they're sitting on. And you should be good, because they do need a block to sit on for this to work. Uh, now, in this case, let's put down a jack-o'-lantern, and I'm going to put down an end rod. And then on top of that, another end rod, so that they kind of make this, like, uh, like I don't know, connective surface. A anyway, uh, we've got purple pillars to put on here next. Uh, it's best if I do this while I'm in flying mode. There we go. Or end stone for either one. So we're going to make two of these. I'm going to make one facing one way, one facing the other. So uh, we've got endstone is your level one, uh, which of course will scare away mobs. 
And Purper is going to be the ones that scares away mobs and passives, which it's a Purper pillar as well, none of the other ones. You'll want these on either side. And as before, you're going to want to add a jack-o'-lantern probably, most likely. And it's not going to work because I've got these other blocks hooked up next to it. There we go. It's best if you don't have these things made <laughs> like that beforehand. And you can see it has made uh, like your, your scarecrow here. And actually, I can now, should be able to do the other one with the uh, end stone on top. And then I'm going to need the sticks. Got to do the, the jack-o'-lantern last. There we go. And now I have two of them because they turn into some kind of entity or something along those lines after that. And if I want to break these and get the materials back, just break the block that they're sitting on, same as before. But if you look, this is the area that your level one tier covers. Uh, well, in a circle, I'm just showing you a quarter of it, obviously. Then this is the area that your level two covers, which is considerably more. It's like two and a half times more. Guess what? 10, 25, that, that's, that's addition. Uh, kind of, well, multiplicate. Anyway, it's math. I math. Uh, and then these guys back in here, they do 50 blocks. From this one here in the front, it goes all the way out to here. And this can be just mobs or it can be passive mobs or whatever. But there you go. That would help you to secure your areas so that you don't need to worry about your mob infestations or, or attacks or anything of that nature. In fact, you can easily, therefore, protect your base from all those things that might give you harm. Now, this isn't going to work against things like boss mobs and whatnot. Uh, there are some situations where it might not work, like bats are just going to fly randomly anyway. But you get the idea. So that's pretty much it. Scarecrows, a really cool mod. I like it a lot. I'm probably going to be using it a bunch myself. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to everybody everywhere that you possibly can think of. And... Don't forget to check out other Spooky Jam mods. There are plenty more that I am not going to get the chance to cover, so please check out the list in the description below. You guys can see a whole bunch more there for you. Till next time, folks. I'll see ya.